the next thing we will discuss here is a scale or repositories and scale or repository is nothing but a combinations of backup repositories so backup repositories become tough if we have so many repositories and whenever you are taking a new backup you have to select which backup repository you want to choose okay so that make it easier let me show you a small demonstration like go to inventory go to windows 10 and sorry, when i say add to a okay quick backup sorry add to a backup job okay this is the virtual machine now it is asking me backup repository to choose and i have a backup repository one i have a backup repository two with a 31 gig of free space backup repository one is a 311 gig of space and a default backup repository again with 31 so every time you have to choose which backup uh, repository you have been uh, looking to take a backup so in order to short out this problem there is a scale out repositories and what scale out repository does is this is your veeam backup server this one and whenever you want to take a backup from your source host from for the virtual machines or the data the backup simply goes to the backup proxy that we have discussed and backup proxy take this to the scale out backup repository and scale out backup repository there must be a network attached storage or a, a system you know direct attached storage or any other storage devices so scale out backup repository combine all of them in a one and that is a job of a scale up backup repository so backup proxy give job to the scale out backup repository and it take the backup file to any of those if if it failed due to lack of uh, if lack of space issues so it will try to move this backup to a different storage or another storage attached in a same backup repositories the requirement for this is uh, scale of backup repository is you must have more than one backup repository so i'm leaving backup repository the default one i'm selecting one and two and making them a scale out repository so select scale out backup repository and say add scale out backup repository give any name to it or let it to be a default one and go next now performance tier now is saying i am saying to him that i want it to be used in backup one and backup two only and if you have more repository you can select all of them or you can choose okay so go next okay so agent permission and backup encryption setting currently presented on added extent will be lost for cds i must have given a different permissions now it give you a two option for data locality or a performance choose any one as per your requirement data locality depends backup file placed on the same extent for example incremental backup file will be stored together with the corresponding full backup file however the next backup file can be created on another extent in a different storage in performance incremental backup files are placed on a different from the corresponding full backup file providing for better backup file transformation performance with the raw storage devices note the losing an extent with the full backup make restoring from an incremental impossible so just read them and go next and extend scale out repository object with you can extend them in case all of them fails then you can choose microsoft blob storage that's a amazon one but again you need username and passwords for that okay i do not have any go next cancel this 
I do not want it to be extended but you can that's a good features and that is actually an external repository feature here so go apply now wait for some time let it to be finished Now it's done. Say finish. So scale out backup repository is there and look at the capacity. The capacity is 1.9 terabyte, which means it out of those the free is 343 GB. So if you go to the backup repository and say 311 plus 31, so plus them, you know. So these two becomes a combined. So next time if you go and take a backup for this like Windows 10 is there and say add to a backup job and go next go next. Now here you have to select your scale or backup repositories and Remember what happened whenever you take a backup it automatically decide where to keep backups on which particular drives or a storage or a cloud associated with it. So this will never lead you to a failure because lack of space or other issues. So that is that's a very good features and proxy is there we backup proxy by default we are using VMware. So I'm again going to cancel it because we will discuss backups in the backups session. So I believe you are good with backup repository, external repository and scale out backup repository. And you can remove them very easily. Right click and remove and yes, simple. Once you remove the scale up repositories, you can go and you can remove backup repository one and two. You cannot remove the default one until you have another repository because that's the last. If you click remove, you'll get an error. The remaining backup repository cannot be deleted. It's a default. So that's it. Thank you very much for.